So this is a patient who suffers from shoulder pain uh, as well as neck pain. She has an x-ray of the shoulder and neck that's consistent with osteoarthritis. She has multi-level disc disease and she's been suffering for over three months with pain. I'm first going to scan her brachial plexus at the supraclavicular fossa and I see the subclavian artery and the first rib with the lungs below it. See the pulsating artery. Color mode. Decrease depth. B mode. So now we see the nerves around the artery and sometimes we can trace the suprascapular nerve as it leaves the brachial plexus right here and goes more posteriorly towards the notch of the scapula and then under the supraspinatus muscle. And we lose it as it gets deeper under the trapezius posteriorly over here. Here's a subclavian artery and the nerves and the suprascapular nerve breaks off and innervates the supraspinatus muscle, infraspinatus muscle and 80% of the shoulder. Sometimes we can see it clearly break off, other times it's more difficult. Now I'm going to perform a suprascapular nerve block. First I'm going to localize the skin we're pinching. Oh. Pressure. You may feel some pain in the shoulder right now. Okay, and I just broke through the ligament. I'm going to aspirate and inject. A little air went in. And we lose visualization of the nerve once the air goes in, unfortunately. But you can at least see that the needle is placed right at the transverse scapular ligament. And there is spread under the ligament as well. I'm gonna remove the needle and we're done.